Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is this pedigree shows the inheritance of autosomal recessive trait assuming that individual 2,4 is homozygous normal what is the probability that the child 4,1 will be affected. So how we are going to start uh, to solve this problem if you think that we have to start uh, analyzing our pedigree somewhere here and going down to here it is actually not so. We should start uh, solving our problem uh, with uh, following logic for this child in the fourth generation to be affected and for his parents to be of the normal phenotype as you see both of these parents have to be heterozygous. In this case uh, there is a possibility that they would have affected child. If any of these uh, parents would be homozygous dominant, there is no way that the child would be affected. The only way that the child would be affected when both these parents, uh, female 4 and male 5, would be heterozygous. So let's find the probability of being heterozygous. So uh, now let's start from the top. We see that this couple is phenotypically normal, but they have affected child. Because we know that uh, this is autosomal recessive trait, we instantly know that genotype of uh, parents in the first generation would be heterozygous, so they would be phenotypically normal, but as you see, uh, the child would be affected or would have a genotype that is homozygous recessive. And as for the, uh, the child uh, tree in the second generation, what is the probability for this child to be heterozygous? Once again, we have to find probability for this female to be heterozygous because only in this case she can be phenotypically normal but still can uh, pass defective allele to following generation. So what is the probability of her being heterozygous? If both of her parents we know are heterozygous. So let's say that this is going to be genotype of her father and this is genotype of the mother. Both of her parents we know heterozygous. And if two parents are heterozygous, probability of the genotypes would be as follows. Capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So as you see, probability for the individual um, number three in second generation, probability of her being heterozygous or being a carrier would be 2 out of 3. And uh, we know for sure that she doesn't belong to this genotype because otherwise her phenotype would be affected just like her sister. So we know that she belongs to one of these genotypes. And probability of her being a carrier or being heterozygous, as you see, 2 out of 3 and not 2 out of 4. So 2 out of 3. So let's put this genotype here. So your probability of being heterozygous is 2 out of 3. So individual 2, 3 have probability of being heterozygous as 2 out of 3. And we know, according to our problem, that individual 2,4 is homozygous normal. 2,4 is her spouse, her husband. So we have to put homozygous normal genotype for him. And now, when we know genotypes of uh, these individuals uh, or probability of genotypes, let's find 
probability for the daughter to be a carrier or to be heterozygous. So genotype of the mother is capital A small a, genotype of the father is capital A capital A. Once again we build a Punnett square and probability for the daughter to be a carrier as you see would be 50%. So we have to include this in our calculations. So we have to multiply by 1 half, this is two independent probabilities, two independent events. So in order to find probability of these two independent probabilities to happen together, we have to multiply these two probabilities. So probability that if this individual is heterozygous to pass defective allele to her daughter would be one half. So we have to multiply two thoughts probability for individual two, three to be heterozygous by probability of passing this defective allele to her daughter. So now we can say that probability of her daughter three, four of being uh, also carrier would be two thoughts multiplied by one half. Now let's find probability for her husband also to be a carrier. And this time we are going to start from here. Why? Because we see that this couple have affected child. So uh, we know that genotype of this child, this uh, male is homozygous recessive. And as we see, uh, phenotype of the parents are normal that uh, tell us that these parents are obligate carriers or heterozygous. And once again, if we know genotypes of the parents, this is exactly same example. Probability for this male to be also heterozygous would be 2 out of 3. So now we have to multiply by probability of individual 3, 5 of being a carrier, that is 2 out of 3, but this is not our final calculations, because even if two parents would be heterozygous, it doesn't mean that the child instantly uh, would be affected. As you see, probability for two heterozygous parents to have affected child would be one quarter. So once again here we have found probability for male um, 3, 5 to be heterozygous and now we have to multiply by probability of individual 4, 1 uh, of being homozygous recessive. And we have found that such probability is 1 out of 4, or 1 quarter. And now, finally, we can do our calculations, our multiplication. 2 multiplied by 1 would be 2, multiplied by 2 would be 4, multiplied by 1 would be 4. So, 4 on the top. And here we have 3 multiplied by 2 would be 6 multiplied by 3 would be 18, multiplied by 4 would be 72. And actually we can divide both numerator and denominator by 4 and our simplified answer would be 1 over 18. And this is going to be our answer today. And if you need an answer in percentage form, so this is going to be probability for this individual unborn child to be affected, to be of the genotypes uh, that is homozygous recessive. And if you need an answer in percentage form, we have to divide 1 by 18 and we have to multiply by 100. 
and the answer would be um, 0 0.056 multiplied by 100 would be 5.6 percent and this is going to be our answer today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye